Start with Amazon, though, an earnings miss, disappointing holiday quarter guidance weighing on the stock as the company ramps up spending on one day shipping. And Amazon's earnings release, Jeff Bezos said, quote, customers love the transition of Prime from two days to one day. They've already ordered billions of items with free one day delivery this year. It's a big investment and it's the right long term decision for customers. Uh, we've been down this road before, and their track record, Jim, historically is pretty good on this. Yes, I think that there's a perception that they were downbeat, and I think that perception is wrong. I think that they are quite confident that they have what people want. I think they think it's going to be a great Christmas. If that was somehow lost in the translation, that's a mistake. Now, there are people who are selling it. My experience is when you see this stock selling, selling down like this, it usually the brokers who've got some order saying, sell it down to 1650, sell it down to 1650. So they nail that, and then at the end of the day, they bring it back here and they go to the customers and say, hey, listen, I did better than the average price. This stock is a buy, I believe, by next week, midweek, when we realize what they're doing is what everybody needs to do, which is one day. One day is what we all want. So they're giving you, they have a customer's always right position. They're going to give you what you want. They're backing it up with the spending. That's Don't you sure. love that? 100,000 people hired in the quarter. Because they're, they're a juggernaut. 100,000 people. Well, it's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. Well, because they have a lot of business. People are worried. You know what? This is a very, it's become a very anecdotal story. There's questions that people are saying, I, uh, I see a lot of your trucks on the road. Is that costing a lot? What is this, like fifth grade? Hey, no kidding. It's costing what it needs to cost. And yes, you see Amazon trucks all the time. You see, because that's because they're taking product to where it has to go. So I think that this is ridiculous. I think that, you know, they put out these numbers and people think that they're downbeat and they're well, wrong. Well, there's a couple of silos of worry here. One is the revenue guide. The other is AWS deceleration. Um, 35 percent is the lowest since they've been giving us that data four years ago. I, I didn't want to see that. If you ask me what the negative is, uh, when you look at Azure, are they doing better? But Azure, Amy Hood said, listen, we're having a little bit of slowdown, too. But it, it's a slowdown versus incredibly large numbers. And when you take a look at Intel and what they're saying in the data center, then, you know, data centers just on fire. It, it's on fire. We haven't even heard from what Google's saying. We're going to find out yeah. next oh, week. Oh, boy. I think yeah. that's going to be the most important one because if Google really started taking share, then you'll suddenly have an explanation for this. But right now, I say, look, it's all systems go. The people who are worried about Amazon are the same people who have thrown out Amazon time and time again. And why are so few people enabling a bid on the whole ride for Amazon? Because in days like today where they take it seriously and say, wow, Amazon's in trouble. Amazon is not in trouble. Amazon is doing what the customer wants, and then it tries to figure out how to do it more cheaply. Right. I think it's it's brilliant. Yeah, it's I a guess, brilliant company. I guess there are some who'd expect it because they've had a deceleration in this quarter in the past. There was also a holiday in India that some people are citing as perhaps having depressed some business. You think Andy uh, Jassy has suddenly lost it? Andy Jassy no. runs web services. He's a but genius. They keep cutting the prices. It's interesting, though, when you think about the long-term prospects for this company. Ten years ago, even five years ago, we were not really talking a great deal about Amazon Web Services. No. Or about advertising, which are now the key parts of the profitability of the business. Yeah, I'm so glad you mentioned advertising. Advertising was very good, by the way, in the quarter. Uh, well, it was. Up 45. It was very good. But no one's thinking about that. They're all thinking. Acceleration from a 37% growth rate last quarter. Look, they're, they're, it's, it, but this, it's the gloom thesis I'm trying to bust. They are not gloomy. They are not worried. They are just matter of fact, doing their job, getting their assignment right. They are Belichick. They are the Patriots. If you think they've lost it, if you think Brady's retiring, if you're upset at the fact that someone stole Brady's jersey, forget about it. It's fine. They're going all the way. They have home field advantage. They're going to be in the Super Bowl again by Amazon. Super Bowl 100 days away from today, believe it or not. I know. It's amazing to already have it be this, the to have it be the, the uh, Green Bay versus the, <laughs> I mean, yeah. but I I just like Amazon. One, one Don't thing. buy it now. They're going to the, 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 the people are selling it, Carl. They're going to keep selling it all day. So anyone who's buying it uh, on my bespoke, stuff, just, just, just stop it. Bespoke today says uh, they've had 72 earnings reports since uh, October of uh, I think 2001. I'm not sure. So I have the past 72 reports, it's gapped down six plus about a third of the time. There you go. So this is not unusual. No, out that, of boy, that's good information. Yeah. And what it says is, I always feel like the people look at their projections and decide Amazon's worried or not. And what Amazon does, Amazon is just, they're trying to figure out, they're not as bad as Netflix on projections, but Amazon's very excited. They know that they have a winner with one day. 
So then they have to do one day, and then they figure out how to make one day cheap. And then sudden, suddenly you buy it, and the gross margins fly up, and advertising margins are good, and Jassy's doing a good job at web services. And you say, hey, I got a chance again to get in. 